DIY or Die, Walker Vapor Group LLC, or any of its associates do not condone nor encourage the use of nicotine, vapor products, or any mood-altering substances without the explicit consent of a physician. The content viewable on this channel is strictly for entertainment purposes only and not meant to be seen as informational or educational. Must be 21 years or older to view these materials. Hey, what is up, beautiful people? I'm Mill Nikon. Welcome back to Mixin' Vixens. We've got an exclusive girl. Say hi. Hey, how's it going? We've got Rin Vapes. Hi. And we've got the Juice Fairy, Jennifer Winstead. Yeah, and I see Rin in the chat said I was blowing everybody's eardrums out. <laughs> She's a little tad tail. <laughs> she just can't keep it to ourselves <laughs> i know i know we got to tell them all the back room drama <laughs> they they enjoy that anyhow that's right how you girls doing man fantastic loving summer getting ready for vacation going nice. to florida next week Sweet. i'm super excited rin how you doing hired af yeah, you just uh, did your finals for school, right? I did. I aced my phlebotomy final Ooh. and pretty much acing the entire class. And I just have the practical left, which is probably what I'm most nervous about. And then I'll be done. Oh, I can't say that fine. I'm uh, That's awesome. I only got to find a vein, pull blood from three different spots, three different ways. That's all. Nah, you, you got this. And Alicia, how was your weekend? been packing moving sucks yep i'm excited about where i'm moving to i'm finally gonna live in a brownstone so excited that, about that but yeah my kitchen there's I have so much kitchen stuff my my sister is kind enough to come and help me she's actually in the other room but yeah so she she knows how to pack very quickly and efficiently and without having anything break so nice perfect cool. to pack all the glass <laughs> very cool so, uh, has anyone been vaping on some interesting mixes that they want to talk about? Yeah, I've been vaping this recipe I made all week. I've had a little bit of a sore throat, so it came in. It was the perfect thing to mix for a sore throat because I threw some menthol in mine. Nice. I've been uh, I've been vaping ID Ten T's Lucky Charms mix. It's pretty tasty. Well, and I've, I've been vaping, and I find myself gravitating. You know, back in one of our episodes, we, I made that um, mango. It was supposed to be the mango mango, but it was a mango mix. You know, I didn't know what mango mango tastes like. Um, those little gummies that we make, those mango Oh, gummies. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. And now that it, it's been sitting a good while now, like I vaped, uh, I made a, a 50 mil. I vaped about 15, 20 of it. And then it, the rest of it has been sitting around. And this week I pulled it back out. So if anybody made that and let it sit this whole time, pull it out. It's pretty darn good. Nice. I've been, uh, I've been liking mango stuff recently. I just mixed up um, one of Wayne's, was it the mango Yola Tango? Because I was really interested at that high of cap sweet mango, what that actually tastes like. Because it, cap sweet mango is one of those, you know, it's like a very ripe mango. It can taste a little funky, but it works in that one. It's pretty good. Mango is great for summertime. Yeah, I like I like my mango. I like my fruity vapes in the summer. I still carry my, you know, strawberry cheesecake with me everywhere, but I, it seems to be down more than in the vape these days. Yeah. Rin, uh, have you been vaping any summer type seasonal mixes that you've been enjoying? Nope, I've been vaping on Jen's uh, recipe that I can't disclose. 
<laughs> it's oh, there's so another good. thing. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna reach through the damn camera. Hey, I didn't watch it because I can't share it. That's all I said. <laughs> I'm, it's well, very I'm good. good. All right, Alicia, what about you? It's the yeah. tobacco. Nobody's like um, getting it. Getting too busy. I haven't gotten to like make any anything new other than this week's. Um, but yeah, no, I've mostly just been vaping whatever I I have that's still like around. Basically, like I'm running low on pretty much everything at this point. I got to make some new juice. But yeah. right now I have uh, in here, I have a mix of uh, that, that ch the Cheerios one with the um, that raspberry uh, orange bar thing from oh, a couple yeah. weeks back. And that was really good. And then yesterday I, I pulled out the uh, that blueberry cheesecake. Uh, oh, ice cream yeah. from several several weeks back. It's had so much time to seep, and uh, that ended up being really freaking tasty. But... I mean, that's delicious now. Your yeah. blueberry cheesecake ice cream. Oh yeah, fully steeped. Yeah. yeah, nice. The blueberry in there, it's like it's it's like very forward still, but it's a uh, it's like a good balance of blueberry, I think. Cool, very cool. Well, you know, I'm normally like um a, a bakery dessert type of person but it's been really warm here recently and i've just wanted fruits so i'm really thankful for this week's profile picture you guys can see up there this is what we mix this week and um so let's get on to uh to what we've we've mixed huh hey 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 yes, say. That was an eh, but it was an A. Oh, okay. You're Canadian. It's an A. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounded more and more Canadian. Although the other day I was at a vape shop and uh, we were just talking and, and there's like where they're like, Where are you from? I'm like, well, I'm originally from Ohio. They're like, yeah, we can tell. <laughs> I guess I have an accent. <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> I don't really you hear it. You just oh, didn't know. you're from Ohio too. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, you know, us from Ohio, we don't have accents. Everybody no, else. of course not. Everybody else has the accent, right? <laughs> I've been told I pronounce my O's weird. Like I'm from like Wisconsin or Minnesota. Wisconsin. Because it's like a very prominent O. Yeah. Don't you know? Or like, <laughs> I don't know if that's the right accent, but whatever. <laughs> don't you know? <laughs> don't you know? <laughs> <laughs> close enough it's it's warping a little luigi there <laughs> luigi <laughs> you want a little we luigi towards the end there like italian yeah, yeah. oh just yeah a touch. just a touch right at the end <laughs> mamma mia can you guys hear my spanish accent at all or sometimes yeah. or yes absolutely yes. especially <laughs> when eat it. i love it it's sexy as hell um i'll go first actually <laughs> Uh, okay, I, I rarely go, go first anyway. So. All right, go for it. Um, so mine is called Frosty Strap-On because I can't mix anything with like lemon really in it. All I taste is lemon pledge and it burns off on my taste buds as I've stated previously. So I did not use any lemon in my mix. Instead, I replaced the lemon with apples and, and made a strap-on. Uh, I haven't actually made a strap-on before. I've, I've made like similar sort of, or well, it's like a watermelon apple or something like that. So um, I didn't have nearly as, as much time to work on this as because uh, I kind of had to procrastinate on this a little bit due to packing and preparing for a big vacation. So I apologize if it's not as polished as normal, but um, it turned out really tasty. Uh, it's pretty balanced. I used a uh, sweet watermelon as my main watermelon, and then I backed it up with LA watermelon to give that mouthwatering effect. Uh, that'll take effect after about a three-day steep. Uh, at low percentages, it'll get the candying uh, mouthfeel without actually tasting like candy. So uh, I definitely recommend that flavor if you uh, have like a, a fruit where you really want your mouth to start watering. Um, and then... For strawberry, I used uh, literally a drop in a 60 ml bottle uh, of Alpine strawberry. And then I used uh, Jungle Flavors uh, Strawberry Sweet. And I liked that combination. I have not played with Alpine strawberry before, so I'm really glad I listened to everyone when they, they said, it's really strong, don't use very much, because I can definitely taste it still. 
Uh, and then I used uh, Fuji Apple uh, for it, which um, has uh, like this adds this like light crispness to it that it's not a very crisp recipe to be perfectly honest, but it does add that slightness to it that it's kind of missing. I kind of want it to actually be a little bit more tart and crisp because uh, it's it's not as uh, citrusy as I want, even though I was avoiding citrus to begin with. Uh, and then, of course, I threw cactus in there so that it's got that wetter mouthfeel uh, since it is a beverage. And uh, some, I use WS23. I do not have a lot of, of the uh, the cooling agents. So uh, I ended up going with that one to just bring the, the temp down some without affecting the flavor too much. Yeah, it's the strawberry to watermelon ratio is pretty balanced. Uh, and then the apple that's in there it's it's really more of like a note of the apple it's it's not uh, as like present as everything else that could probably be upped a little bit more if i really wanted there to be more of an apple flavor but i'm definitely liking it and i might have gone a little light on putting the ws23 in in the mix that i actually made but uh it's higher in the mm. recipe so yeah any questions i really like uh capella sweet watermelon Excuse me, sweet watermelon. I haven't tried it until last week when we did watermelon on noted, and uh, I like it a lot. Like it's it's got some beef to it, you you know where it, a lot of watermelons are kind of fragile, mm -hmm. like delicate. Yeah, but it holds up. Sweet watermelon holds up. It's got some body to it, you mm -hmm. know. Yeah, I I considered adding uh, some wild melon in there too, but I didn't want it to be too close to to that grab apple by the melons mix that I have, which oh, is yeah. basically, it's similar to this. Uh, it's not exactly this. There's, there is different flavors, obviously, because we have the strawberry added in there and I didn't use, um, I didn't use like Anton apple in it, but um, it definitely, I like left out some of the flavors from the other one and then subbed in other flavors on it to kind of, because I didn't, like I said, didn't have as much time to work on it as I wanted. Uh, but yeah, that sweet watermelon, it's, it's a, it's a great flavor and it, it really does go well with a wild melon. So I recommend trying that combo. How's that, <clears throat> how's that, um, al the Alpine strawberry and the, like the jungle flavors, sweet strawberry combo. What's that like? It honestly, it's like they complement each other very well. Like the street, sweet strawberry, it's, it's a great strawberry that jungle flavors has. Yeah. I mean, it's, okay. it's similar, uh, to to capellas but it's like a better version almost it's like it just it's capellas it doesn't fade basically yeah exactly um <laughs> and mixed with the alpine strawberry i haven't gotten to have it fully steeped but um like the combination there it's like a very authentic strawberry uh but it's like almost slightly a little too ripe to me um the combo of it like it's it's lost some of the more citrus notes that strawberries typically, you know, fresh strawberries have, like the, you know, almost not quite ripe enough yet strawberries yes, it's have. It's got some, so. some greenness to it. It's missing some greenness. Like, I feel like there needs to be something added to make that have a little bit more greenness. Oh, hmm. It's a little more ripe than I want it to be, just slightly. Cool. And the jungle flavors Fuji, how does that compare to FA's Fuji Apple? Um, well, I haven't really had them side by side, but the F, uh, the, the FA Fuji, it's a great Fuji, and so is jungle flavor. It's, it's similar in comparison as you would compare the Capella uh, sweet strawberry to the jungle flavor sweet strawberry. Like, they're both very similar profile. Yeah, jungle uh, flavor does things similar to other people, but better sometimes. <laughs> I've yeah, just on some of their flavors, not on all of them, because there have been some not great ones that have come out. Yeah, sure, sure. But there are a few that, like, they just have one-upped their company that they mimicked, you know, whatever. So definitely strawberry is one of them. Anyone else have any questions? Nope, that sounds pretty interesting. It looks like something I would totally want to mix up because I like Inaware Cactus, Fuji. I like the mix of Fuji and Strawberry typically, and I usually mix Fuji, Strawberry, and Peach, but I've never added it to watermelon, so this sounds like something I might mix up for my vacation. Well, it's, it's uh, great on this hot day. 
that we're having right now. So what what percentage did you use of WS23 at? Uh, I ended up actually only putting it in there at at, at probably like 40-ish percent. Um, when I made it up, but I put 75 or 0.75%, sorry, 0.4% versus 0.75. Yeah. 0.75 uh, is probably where I would go with it. Cause I yeah. I'd want it to be cool. Yeah. It's I, with the 0.4%, it was, it's cool, but it's not like cold. It's, it's more like a, like at a drink phase right now. Like this, I this recipe, a bunch of watermelon up and threw other fruit in there and this recipe actually looks like it would go really nicely in a pod system as well. Maybe bump some of the flavors a little bit, but I'm looking That's at it on, on my thing and it looks like something that would actually work really nicely as a nice smooth pod system mix also. Maybe some mint added in there to mm. have it be more present. Nah. In a pod system, you can feel coolants. You can always taste the chill in a pod. Where, well, you know, I've, when you're sub ohming and, and vaping hotter, you to fill. So when, when you're vaping hotter, it kind of warms up your vape, but in a pod, because it's lower, you always will feel the coolness. So I think, right. I think at 0.75, it's perfect for a pod. Anything else, you might drown out the flavors too much. All right. That's good to know. I'll have to, did you, you just get a pod? I did. I did. Uh, I have. I'm going to need to get some more of the little refillable pods for it so that I can have some more options. But Which one did you get? Uh, it was by Limitless. I I can't remember the name of it already. <laughs> it's also in the other room, so I'd have to look it up. I'll look it up. One of you guys can go, and I'll get back to you on that. All right. Are we, we going to flip a coin, or should I just roll on with mine? Go on. You got it. Go on, and I got it? Yeah, um, sure. let me see if I got it. Hold on. <laughs> no, I don't have it. Give me a minute. <laughs> I'll go. Go. No, oh, there you go. Rin, 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 Rin. Go, girl. Mine's pretty simple. So, um, whoa, my mic just kind of flopped. That's great. That was God. <laughs> that was that vape gods going at you for talking on the chat. <laughs> we met James oh right on it with Rin's recipe. I'm always talking smack and chat. Don't look at I it. Know. <laughs> I know. I know. I, and I like giving you smack about talking smack. Because <laughs> look, look at you giggling over there. <laughs> yeah, don't don't look at my Spanish either. No, why? You see my Spanish up there? Yeah, I saw it. It yeah. is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's proper, but anyway. So I mixed like about 20 different types of stuff. And I came with this. It's pretty basic, but I think it's pretty good. It's all flavora. Um, even though there's three ingredients and it's the least amount in it, I would say the candy roll, at least I taste it the most. I actually had to back down a little bit on it. But I don't know. The, the flavor is hard to describe if you've never had candy roll. It's kind of like... Um, it's supposed to be like a sweet tart or something. I don't know that I necessarily get sweet tart. I just get like powdery candy generic. Yeah. yeah. It's good though. Mm -hmm. So I added tropical punch, which I've never tried from them before. So that was interesting. And then I added watermelon just because I wanted watermelon in there. And I actually do. I, I just started using the Flavora watermelon not too long ago because we had the watermelon episode on noted and i had to mix it sooner rather than later and i like it i mean it's it's hard to describe and i know like i think some of you didn't like it but i, I actually liked it i thought it was pretty good so i used that in there plus i wanted to just do all flavora because i've been trying for a while to do all flavora recipes and this yeah, one actually it's turned a good out well. watermelon by itself the i think the flaws show up a lot better but i think in a mixes it's a great watermelon. Yeah. And I didn't want it to be too candied because the candy roll is already in there. So I didn't want to use something like Loran, even though it's really good. I, I didn't want it to be too candied. Yeah, that makes sense. Hmm? I always forget about Flavor Tropical Punch. Yeah. Well, it's in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, yep, it is. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know why I feel so loopy today. I think it's because I'm tired. But anyway, um, I wanted the candy roll in there because I, I really like that flavor. It's probably like my favorite flavor from Flavora. And I think, I don't think I've ever mixed anything else with it. I usually just vape it by itself. So I wanted to see how like the punch would do in there and the watermelon. Um, and I feel like candy roll has a little bit of an effervescence to it. I don't know. Maybe that's where you're getting the powder. Oh, could be, yeah. Um, so I wanted to add that in there to like a little bit of sparkling essence to it. Because I don't mess with be like no co cooling agents. I just oh. can't. Every time I add cooling agent, I just don't like it. So I ain't messing with that. So I needed something to kind of bubble it up, give it a little bit of brightness, whatever. So that's where the candy roll is there. And the other ones are just... Because they're red. It looks tasty. <laughs> and it looks tasty and it looks like flavorful too, even only at 2%. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it looks very interesting. It looks like I could probably mix it just like you have it and enjoy it. And that you can't say that by every 2% recipe. This one looks pretty solid. Yeah, and you can always increase it. Like a lot of people might have to double it. I don't know. But increasing it's not very difficult. I would just start where I have it. If you don't get enough from it, just bump it up. But Flavora, to me, are, are pretty strong flavors. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I like it. I find that sometimes with Flavora and F.A., sometimes at the lower watts, you pick up different notes than you do at the higher watts. So I'm pretty interested in mixing this one and checking it out, especially at lower watts. This looks like if you b upped it up a little bit too, would might be a good pod recipe as well. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, to make this a pod recipe, I'd probably triple it. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Times as much. <laughs> I mean, you might not have to, you know, go all the way. I mean, it's 2%, so I'd say about 6%, it should be fine. I don't think it needs to be 10% or 15%. You know how some people say to get something to taste oh, good yeah. in the pot, it has to go really high. I don't oh, think so. I would need particular flavors, especially Flora. Depends on what you're using, too. If you're using, like, TFA, like, their standard, you might have to go that high. Or a Capella. Some yeah. of Capella stuff is weaker. Flavor West stuff is a little weaker in general. But Flavora, for me, I don't go higher than 2% with any of their flavors. Yeah, and that's rare. <laughs> yeah, see, I find some other flavors you have to go for like three, even four percent, but not very many. Yeah, but I well, what do you vape at though? Like wattage wise, temperature? Um, it varies from like forty to sixty percent or watts. Yeah, like I'm usually between twenty three and twenty five. Like oh, I don't really go above twenty five, so it's pretty low. Anyway, that's what I got. I think it's pretty good. I vary between 12 and 35. So, <laughs> depending oh, what on... What coils are you guys vaping? Huh? Uh, this one that I have in here that it's at a... It's actually at 18. Is a 1.2 coil. Oh, see, I need... I need higher in coils. Because yeah, I... I'm, yeah. That's on this. So that's on a, it's what I use for instead of a pod, just because I can't stand not being able to use my 18650s. I use a 0. 0.3 usually. I need one of those for testing flavors for pod recipes because pods are so, they're so expensive. If you use they it are. for testing stuff, you know. I'm cheap, man. That's why I got this. I mean, in the, in the coils for it, you buy a box. And you can't really test flavors with it that often. I'll, I'll send you a link to a rebuildable, um, yeah, that's a rebuildable that is tight as hell, and it only costs like nine dollars. And that you could taste flavors on that, and take your cotton, pull it out, throw it away. Sweet, yeah, that's what I need. All right. Well, thank you for sharing your recipe, Ren. It looks darn tasty. It's Thanks. Looks so. Uh, Jennifer, I'll, go, I'll go ahead with the summary. Are you, are you, are you, are you prepared I'm, now? I'm ready. I'm prepared now. I, t I had to take a picture of it. <laughs> that's just who I am. So I did a summer aid, and it's basically a lemon, watermelon, strawberry, lemonade. It's a strawberry, watermelon, lemonade. Um, 
but it's frozen. So it's a frozen drink, it, very much depicting the picture. Um, I used 1% menthol in there. So I know, I don't know how crazy everybody goes. I can go all the way up to 3% on menthol. Um, so I am one of those people. But I figured 1% is a good balance when you're at, um, added polar blast to it at 0.50 because Polar Blast adds a different type of cooling to it without adding any more mint. I didn't wanna to go too high on the mint, even though watermelon and mint usually goes well and menthol is more minty. So that's where I balanced, you know, a little bit of mint, but not too much by adding the Polar Blast instead of more menthol. Uh, I use Lemon Sicily at 3% because to me, that's the only lemonade that, that's the only lemon that I enjoy other than Loran's Lemonade. I do like Loran's Lemonade, but it just, to me seem too sweet for this recipe in itself. It's this one's kind of like on the natural side, but it's a little bit candied at the same time. It's kind of weird, but it's very refreshing. I, I wanted it to be strong enough to be able to vape it in a pod or in a sub ohm tank. You know, I wanted to be able to go 80 VG and I wanted to be able to do 50 50. So I balanced it for both. Pretty much, you still get a different flavor on each. You get more mentholy of a flavor in the pod than you do in the sub ohm because the sub ohm it gets warmer and it almost feels like you need more coolant. And if I would add more coolant, I'd probably either probably bump the polar blast or add some WS23. Um, I use nectarine at 0 0.50 to um, keep my lemons integrity and boost a citric note to it. So it's, it's the nectarine is to me, is like a cross between an orange and a peach, the flora. Um, and, and it worked really well because peach usually goes well with melons and oranges go well with lemon. So that was my, try not to write that book you talk about, Emily. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to find one that gave me both things I needed. <laughs> nice. Um, I used wild melon from Flavor at 2.75. Um, I know that sounds high, but I was balancing all these flavors, and that lemon will kill the watermelon if you don't use it right. The sweet strawberry from Cap at 3% because I wanted strawberry, I wanted the recipe to be red. So I went all the way up to 3% on it. It does not drown out my wild melon. You can taste all three flavors, the watermelon. Basically, the nectarine does get muddled in there only because it's not meant to be a primary flavor. It's meant to boost a little bit of the lemon and a little bit of the melon. Um, the sweet raspberry is in there to push that strawberry into, I know it's already candy, but into a deeper candy note and i like using tfa uh raspberry sweet for that effect with the watermelon and strawberry mixes questions yeah you said something about capella sweet strawberry but it's yeah. not in your recipe yeah it is it says not? tpa or yeah. do you have no, not in that yeah. one this one says cat so I'll have to go back in there and edit it. <laughs> it's somehow, I think that all the flavors must have, I must have down arrowed the wrong one. It's supposed to be cap. Okay. So I'll go in and edit it later. So instead of raspberry sweet, it's supposed to be capella sweet strawberry. No. It, what instead, do I have up there? You I have lemon sicily, menthol, nectarine, polar blast, raspberry sweet, watermelon candy, and wild with melon. So you're just maybe missing it? Hold on a second. Scroll up on that recipe real quick, Friction. I want to see if it's the uh, right one. Yeah, it's oh. the right one. Hold on. Let me go look. You guys. All right. The one, you're start... showing, the one you're showing on your phone is called uh, Summer Aid, and this one's Summer Punch. Yes. Okay, my bad. So I've made two recipes for this week, and I picked the one that is in all the flavors and not the one on, uh, uh, not the one that I was just <laughs> talking about, guys. Girl, get it together. <laughs> so 
all over the place. What? There you go. Proof positive that I'm ADD as hell, and I'm not on meds today. <laughs> Hold on, chill. <laughs> Don't tell us to chill. <laughs> Did you fall down the stairs again? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I'm going to stay on the couch tonight. I mean, what you described was this recipe, except for the Cabela's sweet strawberry. <laughs> Oh, wild melon and watermelon candy. Yes, you're right. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> you are absolutely right. I was I was eliminating flavors for you, Emily, and then I got all confused, and then I started talking about the one that had all those other flavors that I was cutting down on and figuring out what to do with, but you're absolutely right. It's lemon sicily, menthol, uh, nectarine, polar blast, raspberry sweet, and watermelon candy and wild melon. Okay. Sorry, my bad, guys. Does the chat forgive me, or are they making fun of me? Wait, I gotta go check that out. <laughs> I'm not seeing anything. Yeah, they're, <laughs> they're talking amongst themselves, as they usually do. So nope. come back and watch later. The chat's kind of kind of died for a minute. Talking well, I'll tell you, if we needed to kill some time, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> What so, did you make, Emily? Or do you have questions for me? Well, I don't I've never used the fluor nectarine, but I like how you um used it as a dual purpose to bump the citrus and to kind of fill out the the other fruits. It's a really good flavor on its own, and I've never mixed it in a recipe before. I've only had it as a single taster. And to me, it has like an orange note and a peach note mixed in together, depending on the watts that you're vaping it. So mm -hmm. I wanted to take that orange note and add it to the lemon silly and the peach note to the watermelon. Cool. How um, prominent, like how, how forward, I guess, is the watermelon flavor? Like, can you taste it with all that? Yes, yeah. you, you can definitely taste the watermelon. That watermelon candy pushes that wild melon up into a candy realm. You can still taste the watermelon. What it does is actually water down the recipe. It gives it to you more on the exhale, more of a nose flavor. You definitely know it's there. It's not something you're going to hide from it. It also tones down the lemon Sicily from being like a sharp lemon into a softer lemon. Like more watered down. Okay. Nice. It looks refreshing. It is. Look at that menthol in there. I mean, it's, it's I, I'm going to be in 110 degree weather with a million degrees of humidity for a week. I'm trying to prepare. Yeah, that'll do and, it. And, and I've been there, I go every year because that's where my family's at. And I've been there to the point where I've only taken like my regular vapes and, and one tobacco and my, um, and my cheesecake, my strawberry cheesecake, and maybe one fruit. And then... I've had to stop at a vape shop to buy something because it just was not getting it because the heat just changes your taste buds. So this time I'm going with an array it's of true. different flavors. Awesome. You're being, you're going prepared. I'm, going, I'm not stopping at a vape shop, but if I do, I'll let you guys know. Sometimes it's good for inspiration. I do that every now and then. Not I'll go visit one of my fellow mixers over there. I'll be in Fort Myers. Who lives in Fort Myers? <laughs> Anyone else have anything else to say about this recipe before we move on? Which one? Jen's. Which one? <laughs> Which one, one of the two? <laughs> the one that's showing. <laughs> Are we sure that's the right one? Yeah. That's the right <laughs> one. <laughs> mm, Flavor West Month, though. Interesting. Flavor West menthol is my favorite menthol to use. And you mix that with Polar Blast? A little bit of Polar Blast. Yes. The Polar Blast is was to boost the coolness in it. I can use just Flavor West menthol, but I did not want to add any more of the mint or medicinal taste of a menthol to the mix. Some people get medicinal from menthol. Yeah. Yep. Cough drops. Yep. Cough drops. What did you oh. decide on, uh, on TPA Raspberry Sweet? Huh? 
What made you decide use, uh, on using a TPA raspberry sweet? Because it's a candy type raspberry and it mixes well with lemonade. Lemon, lemon Sicily tends to have a little bit of a peel note and you have to drown that out a little bit with something more candy if you're still trying to make it. If I'm trying to make it into a frosty, I need to add something that smooths that out, makes it candy. It's, to me, that's a candy flavor. Yeah, because I, I knew that one is like on the sweeter side, of course. Like it's more candied. It's more. Yeah, this is definitely a candy now. type mix. All right. So but basically, yours is already sweet enough without needing to add any extra sweetener to it, which is good. So, yes. Yeah, and it's really just kind of cutting down that sweetness. Yeah, but I still, I, I personally like it with point, because I'm going to use this mostly in a pod, I use 0.5 sweetener in it, but it's not something that if I'm using it in a sub ohm, I would add any sweetener to it. Maybe some cotton candy for smoothness, but not sweetener. I don't have any more questions. No more questions from the panel? Moving on. We're going to leave you for last there, Emily. Your <gasps> drum roll. <laughs> so I, too, made a strawberry watermelon lemonade. Um, I went with a lot of flavor, very commercial take on it. It's one of those, um, like, store-bought powder mixes that you add your own sugar and water to. Like, it's sweet and flavorful. So, <clears throat> I used 3% Mullenberry Big Watermelon. Uh, comboed that with 4% Loran's Watermelon. Just, I wanted, I want the watermelon to stand out. You know, because it gets drowned out so easily. And I really wanted the watermelon to be, to be noticeable. And then for my lemonade, I did a combo of um, 3% Lorraine's Lemonade with 3% Italian uh, Capella's Italian Lemon Sicily. Because it's just a good kind of like lemon juice, like filler. It's like a, to round out the lemonade. So it's just not so, I don't know, one dimensional. Like it just kind of, it fills it out. And then... Um, for the strawberry, I did four, yes, 4% 4 jungle flavor strawberry sweet. It's such a good flavor, and you can bump it up. It's good. It's like a good candied watermelon. I, this is, it's artificial as hell. There's nothing natural about this lemonade, but it's still just so freaking good. And then I did half a percent polar blast to just give it a little bit of cooling because it's summertime lemonade after all. And then I used 1% sweetener um, from ECX. But I'm pretty sure Flavor West sweetener is like the same stuff. It's just sucralose, right? So it's just, just 1% either Flavor West sweetener or ECX sweetener, or wherever you get your 10% sucralose dilution. You know, just use 1% of it. And there you have it. It's bold in your face, artificial, but yummy as hell. Will it work in the pot? Um, I don't know. I. I haven't tried it in pod. Um, maybe. I think it's too many flavors for that, honestly. Like, it's too many layers. Pods don't really do nuances very well, right? So it's... Yeah, but you still... Believe it or not, that's a misconception. I know that they don't do nuances and you can't pick up the flavors, but even a, even a five-flavor mix, six-flavor mix, because of what the molecules of each individual flavor does to the other, you will get a rounded flavor out of it. You sometimes it, you're not going to get all the, like you're not going to taste like in my recipe, you're not going to taste that, um, that orange note and that peach note, but you're going to find a twang in the lemon. If you get what I mean. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't, I don't think it would be bad. I'll try it. Try it. Let me you know. Have enough, you have a percent. You have a high enough percent that it should work. Yeah, it's um, it's lots of flavor in there. And if any of you have tried Mullenberry Big Watermelon, yeah, you like that one. I do. <laughs> I, I, haven't, I haven't tried it. Them big yeah. melons, though. But I love. Got to look. I love those big melons. Lord <clears> have mercy. It's just I don't know. It's it's similar, I guess, to Capella's Sweet Watermelon. It's just a bolder kind of a richness to it like it's it just boosts up because Lorraine's watermelon is very it's good don't get me wrong don't hate me guys but it's 
<laughs> it's flat. You know what I mean? Like it's so Mullenberry's big watermelon just kind of beefs it up. Love those big melons. Yes, she right. Thick. Talk about big melons. She thick though. <laughs> oh, she <laughs> thick. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I need to get that one. You keep talking all this, yeah, mess about these big watermelon things. It's I good. I have so many watermelons. I have like ten of you, them at least. You don't need it. if you if it's not like necessary. Like it's not that much different than say, Capel sweet watermelon or or some of the other watermelons. You know, it's just it's just I happen to have all the watermelons because it noted. So I yeah, need, you know. But you gotta if, use them. If you're, yeah, you gotta use them. But if you're looking at mulberry stuff and you're like, huh, what should I throw in there? What else should I get? Yeah, toss it in the cart and get it. It's good. Well, I have a crap ton of watermelons because I was trying to find a watermelon I can taste. I have a hard time tasting blueberry and watermelon where other people have, you know, <clears throat> blindness to strawberry. Mine is watermelon and blueberry. So with watermelon... <laughs> I, taste like I get the watermelon, but blueberry? Yeah, I can't. Yeah, have you tried the Holy Trinity? Yeah. I mean, oh. I can I can taste it more now, but for years I struggled with that. For years, for years. I mean, there was it goes away like instantly. I, I vape it for an hour and it's delicious and then it's gone. I'm having that issue with lemon. Yeah. So blueberry for me is that's my you, if I if you guys ever force me to make a blueberry, it might be really strong to the rest of the world because for me to taste it, it's going to be strong. We did the blueberry. Did you, did you add a little bit of uh, bilberry to it? No, I usually use the flora um, that. What's that? It's not a blueberry. It's um, boysenberry. To, oh, yeah. to be able to taste it, so I have to add things to it. <clears throat> okay, try try a touch of uh, bilberry. It, yeah, I've, trust me, I've tried bilberry. <laughs> You've been just, doing this way longer than I have. I've used it. I've used it so high. Well, three percent to me starts to taste bitter, sour, and I no longer taste the blueberry. Now I taste the sour on bilberry. So I mean, that's not flavor. West blueberry is my blueberry. And then a little bit of flavora, flavora um, boysenberry or <clears throat> bilberry. Yeah, watermelon's understandable though because it is tricky. It like it gets drowned out in a mix so easy. Yeah, it's a very delicate flavor. Yeah. But uh, yeah. What are you guys going to be doing? Do we have anything that we're doing necessarily um, n preparing for next week or anything like that? Do we want to announce next week's recipe? Sure. What, the picture? Yeah. Oh, I don't think we have a picture for next no, week. No, the picture's we? just a logo. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's yeah, show it on. Want to talk about what we're doing next week? <laughs> yeah. I guess we'll talk about what we're doing next week. So, uh, uh what? I won't. I won't be here next week, but I'm gonna go ahead and hand over my recipe to you guys, so you guys can go ahead and talk we about it. Tear you apart. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yep, I'll be. I'll be. I'll be landing on a plane. I'll be landing at 9 a.m. and at by 6 p.m. I don't think I'm coming on. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so next week we're doing something a little bit different. Instead of picking a pic one a picture that you guys posted, <clears throat> we're actually gonna just do an all favora recipe of whatever we like. Just to highlight, I guess we're gonna start. We're, we'll start doing this every now and then with different brands, um, just to kind of highlight the company and what you can do with them. You know, change it up a little bit. I think that sounds good to me. I mean, I I'd like to highlight. I mean. Capella is completely doable. Flavor art, Flavora. I just don't want you guys picking something like Mullenberry or uh, Delosi or something like that. Because then we, I, I don't know what all those taste like. Hey, yeah. Mulberry is good though. I think I, I actually got, don't have any of their flavors. I have like three Mullenberry flavors and like one Delosi. 
There you go. So yeah. we'll <laughs> there you go. I have zero of all three. Yeah, I've got all of I've got all the Delosi ones at this point. So, well, so we'll probably start with the brands that we have the most of, and then you know, if we want to go to a company that we have we don't have any flavors for, maybe we can work something out. You know, with with them. To yeah. get some flavors. Sounds good. And let me ask you a question. Do you think that maybe we should ask the chat if it would be simpler for them to search for our Mix and Vixens recipes if we all put it under a Mix and Vixen account? Yes. Yeah, I think that's what we're going <clears> to <throat> – what we should do is is put all of our recipes under one account. They're all there. What do you guys think of that? Um, I guess we got to give the chat a little bit of time to respond. Aren't we on a little bit of a delay? Uh, yeah. A little bit. I think, I think it's, it would be a good idea. Personally, I think that for searching purposes, they can just look mix and vixens and we'll put the name of the recipe and then our name next to it. And that way they can just pick from one place instead of looking us up individually from yeah, place. Put our name in the title next to the, the recipe title so that they can see who did it and, it also makes our cameraman's life a lot easier because he can just pull yeah. that up and he'll see the ones that we've posted there. And that way that our final recipe is the only one that we're putting there. He doesn't have to sift through it. Yeah. It looks like people say sounds good. That looks that sounds a lot easier. And some people are like, yes, ladies. <laughs> sounds good. I thought I thought that they'd find it easier to find us that way. All right, we'll get that. We'll work on that. We'll get everything moved over to it for you. Make life easy. Um, let's see. Do you guys have any ideas of what you're going to work on? What for next week? Yeah, I've, I've already started, started doing two different ones. I went <clears throat> in different directions. I'm I went with a fruity thing, and then I went with a, like a rich desserty thing, and I'm just doing them both. And then at the end, last minute, I'll make up my mind. <clears throat> Which one I go for? I'm gonna go for a, a tropical. I, I started on a tropical and um, all fruit. So both of the ones I'm doing are well. No, one of them is a fruit and cream, and one of them is a uh, hundred percent fruit. And I'll decide. Tropical is like so easy with flavora. It's like you're cheating. I'm going on vacation. <laughs> you know? Alicia should have cheated. This week. He's moving. <laughs> I sort of cheated a little bit. I mean, well, not really. It's a totally different recipe, but it's got That's similar true. flavors, I guess. Halfway yeah. cheating. I mean, if it's flavors, you know, so when when we when we've got these, at least we're not leaving anybody hanging. When we're in the middle of something, we're still showing right. up. That's we're right. putting it out there. That's you right. Discrimination. <laughs> Integrity. Yeah. You know, Mother's Day, Christmas, stuff like that. That might be different, but hey, we still came on on Father's Day. <laughs> we sure did. Yeah. We, I guess we love mothers way more than we love fathers. <laughs> yeah. Dads are so difficult. They just, they want, you ask them, what do you want? I want a steak. <laughs> That's about it. Uh, but I don't see anything wrong with that, actually. No, I don't see anything wrong with that. <laughs> but mothers are like, I don't know, surprise me. That's a whole lot more work. Yeah, I think, I think dads or guys in general, their standards are just lower. Like they know what they want and they're just like, yeah, like, you know, whatever. No, what it is is that the difference between boys and men is the price of the toys they play with and they know their kids are not going to buy them the stuff they want. So they're like, okay, I'll take a steak. <laughs> yeah, that could be it. <laughs> All right. So uh, let's see. Oh, you know what? Jarvis isn't here. Never mind. Yeah. There was something she wanted to give away the other week, but she wasn't next, here. Next week. Yeah. Nope. We'll save it for next week. I got a. Uh, I got some some new bottles to mix large quantities in. By the way. <laughs> Let's see. Holy but, smacks! But it's a this. It's a screw off one, so I I don't have to worry about leaking. So nice. Yeah. I was going to try to you iron on good. my Mix and Vixen logo on this, but it's got a seam right down the middle, so I couldn't do it. I didn't want to do it because I was afraid of messing it up. 
So, Alicia, you're... You can put it on the bill. No, I want to go back a minute. Okay. The big bottle. Like, yes. Do you mix, mix, like, juice that quantity and, va- and like, vape it? Yeah. Yeah. It's green tea Kit Kat uh, you know, is... You know, so, really- on... I know, right? Okay, so what I do, uh, like, I make, like, a, I have... This is the si- the one that I was using before. This just holds my VG uh, that I'm in the middle of using for smaller bottles. But like when I uh, when I mix up green tea Kit Kat, I mix in the, in this size of a bottle, and I give that to my sister, and then she comes back to me like a month and a half later or two months later, saying, "Hey, I need more." This is and the then, size of bottles I mix in. <laughs> and then and then I always keep a bottle of it in my my fridge. But uh, basically, like any. Any juice that I tend to like have as an all-day vape, I, I make a big bottle of it and keep it in the fridge so it doesn't, uh, you know, go. See, I, I make water. three juices of that size. I make my husband's strawberry. And he just vapes a, a strawberry blend. Like it's, um, I call it SSS because it's triple strawberry, but it's got other stuff in it. Um, that's his strawberry. I mix my son's strawberry menthol and I mix my strawberry cheesecake. All three of them taste much better after sleep, but mine lasts the longest because those two men they just that they don't switch up anything. So I mean, yeah. the least amount of times I have to mix for them, the easier it is for me. So I just make some a big bottle and I give them another one when they're almost out. I don't know what they would do without me. They because they do not like shop juice and they only like that. Yeah, that's. It. that's- that's what how my roommate's been as well. Like he pretty much like only was vaping green tea Kit Kat, and then I'd I bring out a different flavor, and he might vape that randomly like one day, but then he's just right back to the green tea Kit Kat flavors. So like he actually just uh he he already moved out, and and then I move out like this week or weekend or whatever. But like he hit me up and he's like, hey, I'm all I'm all out anymore. I'm like, God damn it, <laughs> I gotta go back and I'd go bring him a bunch of juice every now and then. But See, and, and ours tastes start paying me. I don't put it in the fridge or anything. I just don't add, I add Nick to my husband and my sons because they're vaping straight out of their bottle. Mine doesn't get Nick till the end because I transfer it into a smaller carry around bottle. Plus, like my husband fills his tank before work in the morning and he doesn't fill it up again. He doesn't, he doesn't vape his whole tank till he gets home at night. He goes through only like 10 mils a day, 10 to 15 max. Yeah, maybe about 10 mils a day. 15 from, I don't know, vaping a lot. Yeah, my son vapes like 15 to 20 mils a day. So he carries one of those. He, I send him two of those 16 ounces. One that he carries with him. And, you know, you see him at work talk about out of the big bottle. Because <laughs> I've tried putting it in a smaller bottle, giving him, sending him a small bottle to, to transfer to. And every time I look in his car, I find the big bottle in there. So I said, keep this one in the house to stay cool and go ahead and ruin your nicotine on that other one. <laughs> oh, uh, someone wants to know if you have uh, posted that strawberry menthol recipe anywhere. Cali bubbles wanted. Yes, to know. it is posted. Um, it's on, um, uh, let me see what the name of it is. It's, it's really simple. I'm not sure that she, I'm not sure that your average vapor, I mean, you'd have to be a vape, a menthol smoker to enjoy this. And my son was, it is very simple. It is just 10% strawberry from flavor West. And I've tried all the other strawberries on him. And he likes that one because wow. it's the most muted with 2% menthol and half a percent of raspberry. That's it. That's all it is. And he vapes that. He's been vaping that for a year and a half because he likes the coolness with just a hint of strawberry on exhale. That's all he's getting. At 3% menthol, he's not getting very much strawberry. Yeah. 3% menthol. That's, that sounds painful. And 10% strawberry from Flavor West. What What is he vaping at? Like, probably 45 watts. Okay. And he's using one of these. He's using a um, a Digi flavor um, RTA. So it's pretty airy. I have mine almost completely closed off. I don't know if you guys can tell because you can't even see it. But when he vapes, he's like... All the way open. He's all the way open. But it vapes warm. 
So I think that's why he needs a 3% so that it can still feel cold. Cool. I think it's time he tries new flavors. He won't. I mean, I've tried. I've tried for years. I've tried. I've made menthol, all kinds of menthols for him and handed him to him. He says he, he just can't. Whatever works, you know. It, he's not smoking. He's no longer smoking yeah. Marlboro menthols. Used, they used to smoke those Marlboro menthols crush. They have the little, I think it's Marlboro. It might have been Camel menthol crush, whatever it was that would you crush it and it gives you that burst of menthol. Yeah. Well, he's not smoking. I'm still trying to get my wife to to vape instead of smoke. And every now and then she'll pick it up and try it, you know, and and it it'll last for a couple of days, and then she'll forget about it and go back to smoking. Well, he was smoking when he was 17, and not and I didn't buy his cigarettes, but you know, of course, at 17 years old, you you always have a friend that smokes. And he went off to college, and when he went off to college, he was buying his own cigarettes now, and he didn't have the same friends he had here, and he was having to bill his but do his own bill um so i handed him a vape a mod and some juice and left it i said well if you ever decide to quit smoking or to use this alternatively so you can save on cigarettes do it anytime you want to he started vaping eventually he got broke and vaping it was that was it <laughs> that was how he <laughs> broke college kid mm, i can't buy cigarettes right now mom gave me this nicotine let yeah. me try this they'd rather have food yeah. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and my sister, my little sister just switched to vaping again. She's tried it before and it didn't last very long, but she just got like a new setup. And so now she's vaping and I'm like, let me know if you want me to send you anything. So we'll see. But uh, I hope she sticks with it because I cannot <laughs> smell, stand the smell. Of Speaking it. of sending, my, my son lives in Florida. So I have to mail him his juice. So just so you know, those 16 ounce bottles fit perfectly on in the, uh, but you can't have the tip on it. It has to be the flat top in the 795 one flat rate shipping box. Oh, good to know. Good to know. Sure. Yeah, I'll, uh, <laughs> I, I probably have to send some to her when, uh, when she's finally ready for me too. probably like yeah. next week or something. Cause she only just, she only just switched over to vaping like a week ago. So she's got flavors right now. Good. But, uh, you know, I think it's that time. It's time we start the wrap up. What do you guys think? D before I do it, do you guys want to shill anything? Talk about any, any, any good, uh, watermelon, oh, not watermelon, but <laughs> summer vapes that you, uh, you recommend for your recipes or, um, I have the cherry melonade on elr i think i transferred that over to all the flavors as well that's been around for a couple of years but that one's pretty popular um one of my summer recipes i i only bake that in the summer it's pretty good and um uh bull city flavors has my morning mood juice i think um i think graham would be happy if we mentioned that also at Bull City Flavors, you can get Sublime Summertime or Summertime Sublime recipe pack. Yeah, that would make him happy. That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I got a Novita is a good summertime vape too. It's fruity. Oh, uh, for those of you that don't have a whole lot of watermelon flavors, because I know somebody mentioned they only have like one. Um, Bull City Flavors does have the Grab Apple by the Melon uh, recipe on theirs as well. That one's mine. and It's got a few different melon flavors and yeah, it's it's a great summertime mix. Yeah, and the cherry melonade also has um, watermelon in it, so that would put you having several if you just buy those two kits. Yeah, get a discount by doing that too when you get them all together. Yeah. Uh, so, what about you, Ren? Any summer recipes you want people to try of yours besides this one? I would say my lemonades, even though I can't taste them right now. <laughs> They will. Don't be able to taste them. So <laughs> that used to happen to me with lem with lemon. Also, it stopped. But I'm ticked off about it too because I love vaping lemonade in the summer, and I just like I'll taste it for like a couple pulls, and that's it. Like why? Invest in a good tongue scraper. That might help. I have a. I bought copper ones because copper okay. ones specifically are supposed to help. Didn't do and crap. That's <laughs> it's like looking a penny gross i think i'll avoid the copper scraper <laughs> my silicone i was desperate 
All right, so next week we're doing that Flavora mix. So that that's going to be exciting. We're all going to do something completely different. Uh, none of the profiles. We're not really going to tell each other the exact profiles, I think, until the day of. So who knows? We'll probably all be very different, but there could oh, be yeah. There's others. We'll see. So many directions you can go with Flavora. Yes. You know, that'll be fun. It'll be neat. I think it'll. I think it'll be good. Uh, don't forget to uh, to rate and mix the or mix and rate the recipes that we're we're putting out for you. So we and mix your own. What works better for you? Yes, mix your own version. If you uh, if you don't like ours and you want to try to make a better version of it, uh, be sure to hashtag it with mix and vixens so that we can see it and it might get spotlighted or at some point we might discuss it. Uh, you know, and break it down and see if it's uh, better than ours, which it very well could be. So I mean. We're, we don't, we're not experts here. We're, we're just like you. We're, we're uh, working on improving too. So um, yeah, try to make a better version. Um, I wanted to say thank you to our, our uh, lovely sponsors, all the flavors uh, hooking us up with, uh, with the account so we can actually post our recipes for you guys here. Uh, all, Bull City Flavors uh, supplying us with flavors on occasion. And then also Flavora because you guys are awesome and you've helped us out with giveaways in the past. So we'll probably do in some more of those soon, hopefully, but we'll see. Um, other than that, uh, you know, post on, uh, post on the, the Facebook page. Make sure to uh, tell us what you guys want to mix by posting the flavor profiles and the, the, the thread that we usually have them in. And uh, we'll keep an eye out for it. Hopefully they'll get picked by our judges. But yeah. Um, I have nothing left. So, I guess. Well, bye, guys. All right. Yeah. Bye. Bye. bye.